When it comes to spirituality and end of life, people might often say, but I'm not religious. I've never been religious. I'm not interested in that aspect. That doesn't mean anything to me. Um, religion and spirituality are two completely different things. Not everybody is religious, but everybody is spiritual. And deep spiritual questions have to do with the meaning of life and the purpose of life and the value that one has in their own life. And these things come sharply into focus, as we've said, um, at the end of someone's life. What's all this about? What is it about? What has it been about? And what can I do now? Um, is there meaning in what's happening to me? Absolutely. People who are dying right up until the moment they die, there is meaning in that moment. And they can teach us. We, we wonder about what we can do for people who are dying, but people who are dying can do an awful lot for us as well, and we've so much to learn from them. To learn about living to the end, we've so much to learn about dying. And the gift they give to us is how to do it well. If we're in that space where we can actually enable them to be able to do what they need to do. So our job again is to be the compassionate presence, just to be still and to allow the questions to bubble up and to arise and not to have a sense of closing them down or fixing them or containing them. Because sometimes we have to ask ourselves the question if somebody says, why me? You have to ask yourself that question. Is that a question that needs to be answered or a statement that needs to be held? I think you'll find the answer is that it's a statement that needs to be held, but our problem is we rush to answer it. And that's where we fail. So let go of the need to answer the questions. Go with the question. The person will usually come up with the answer themselves.